Well, I don't have a boss. My boss. Who's your boss? Oh, cool. Well, I'll go. I saw the man. Where's Ballard been? You guys are so quick and silent. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's great. Help you guys. Hey, Kent! Oh, I hope it's Kent. I... Where are you? What's up? Oh, you guys aren't Kent. I know, he's definitely not groundskeeping. Are you? No, no I'm kind oh. of curious. You know, we're just kind of curious. What are, you, what are you doing here? Well, then nobody talks here around. Nobody communicates, it sounds like, then. Like, what am I doing here, guys? We are, we're going to communicate with you. That's You'll perfect. Tell, you tell you, me what you want, what we're doing here. Oh, I don't know what you guys okay. are doing here. This this Lieutenant Barnhill, I, Chief I, Newman, and that's, I'm, I'm Sheriff Carter. I'm, that's awesome. Okay. I, I'm, I'm familiar with your face on, like, different posters and things okay. like that. Are you yeah. just cleaning up the sidewalk, or what's, what's yeah, your motivation? Yeah, it's obvious. My motivation is, is my, yeah, trying to do something in my spare time since I don't have work anymore. I don't have. I was laid off for my. I was working for Integrated Technology for a security company, installing cameras, running lines. Oh. I had a big job coming up at the um, the movie theater. They're going to re revamp it and stuff. Six months. I would have been great. Now I'm looking at yesterday an eviction notice. Um, because they don't want anything to do with me because I'm arrested without notice, no notice whatsoever. Brutally, like, you got arrested detained. without notice? Yeah. Well, what did you get arrested for? What they charge you with? I still have yet something. to figure it out. Well, failure to appear. Okay. That's why they put their hands on me, right? right? I'm still trying to figure out what these charges are. Um, he showed, they're asking me about a middle name. This is why I'm pissed. They asked me about my middle name, correct, Terry? Sergeant Terry, and then they show me a piece of paper with a first and last name only, and then arrest me immediately. No due process. They kick the shit out of me on the way through to wherever those bullies are, and then lock me up in a room for eight and a half hours and expect me to shit and piss in this little like square box. Yeah. That's not fair. That's not fair to anybody. You know what you guys tell your kids or your family members when the police officer approaches you? What do you tell them? Be nice. And no, you say don't talk to him. I'm sure. A smart person would say, you don't, so you don't talk to the police. Because anything you can, you say, will be used against you. And guys like this have then what they think authority to give you permanent nerve damage. Okay, if, if, if there's a warrant, I don't have a job, they, they so I'm working. To, they have to, if you have a warrant, then they are obligated by law. How are they going to know that I have a warrant? Is this a stop and search, like... You know, without probable cause or articulated reasons. My last suspicion. question is going to be: Was that warrant on you? Are you the guy that it was about? Well, I don't want to have to go through what I did again, so I'm going to go find out in front of a judge on the 27th okay. of next month. Because I would love problem. to find out what the real deal is. I've never been in trouble. I'm not a felon. <coughs> my family was like the Harrods, like my great grandfather, great grandmother, and I'm like trying to put my little uh, indent on this map here. And you get, it's like impossible with the with the court systems here. We got administrative well, judges. Just out of curiosity, what's your intention? For, why did you pick the section of grass out here to work on? Have you guys um, ever uh, uh, secret shopped any of the officers, any of the sergeants, the people who were? So I'm just I'm just trying to correlate, you know, civilian life to you know the service life. Mm -hmm. Secret shop, you kind of like you know expect. Inspect what you expect, okay? And man, <clears throat> have I been inspecting, just not uh, inadvertently, you know, running into officers. And boy, they are just the rudest individuals ever. And I understand why, you know, I understand why. Why are you here? What's your man? If, you if you aren't, that? if you don't really, I'm telling you why. Because there's there's a there's a gap. There's there's uh, the, there's the private sector, and then there's there's the service sector, you know, where there's an entitlement, and that's great. You guys have a hard job. You're just doing your job, but your job is kicking the shit out of me and my friends. Not my friends, but my community are my friends, right? 
I mean, does that make more sense? They're my family, my friends, potentially, that are gonna have to deal with you guys eventually. And boy, if they have to deal with the shit I did, getting drug across to, to door number two, and then assaulted even further uh, into detainment, and then humiliated on the way, all the way through, four days and three nights. Stay with you guys. Well, is, is that's that's a cruel and unusual to, is punishment. Is your intention to stay here and, and work on the yard, or what's your intention? I guess is my. It changes every day because it just man. I woke up one day and then, rather than just continually doing what everybody else is doing, doing their First Amendment audits. Have you guys seen those? Okay, what it, what they do is, and it's great that you guys haven't seen it because it's what they they want to sneak up on you. They want to surprise you. They want to catch you with your pants down. There's a poster seven they put up at the post office. I hope you guys don't think I'm rambling. This is very important. Poster 7 states that you can videotape and record in public spaces viewable by public, right? There are people getting arrested, detained, and under the color of law, um, winning a bunch of lawsuits. Rather than me doing what they're doing and hold a cell phone up like this and kind of going around and drawing attention, potentially getting myself hurt and others injured, I'm trying a more dip diplomatic approach. So. I've been in sales 15 years. I figured some of my charming customer service skill, you know, car charming, uh, uh, charismatic ways could win over some of your, you know, fellow officials, and they're just not interested, man. They just have, they, they, they can't take a step back, and, and I want it. I understand why, man. It's a thankless job. Nobody's saying thank you, like what I'm doing. I'm gonna make these ladies their walk a little bit more pleasurable. Maybe you guys come in and you say, man, maybe I should do my curb when I get home. I want to do good that doesn't just do good, but also allows other people to do good. You know what I'm saying? Like what an officer should do. Rather than Justin Hendrickson, if that's even his name, he might have given me his friend's card. Um, immediately, like, um, and I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. There's a couple more of you than me. Um, there's immediately, he, he's obstinate, he's laughing at me, and he's having a good old time at my expense when I have a serious emergency going on. I think Justin works for his city. That Absolutely, but hey, okay, it, it, you one city right now. We're getting there, okay. right? You know what I'm saying? But it, but again, I don't have many examples of your guys because the one I only have interactions with your guys when I'm going through the metal detector and um, when I'm being illegally detained. But here's the deal: you're making people nervous because they only in there, your, only in there. Are. You know what? That's why they do those those First Amendment audits. They want to make you guys squirm because why? They, it's a legal way to get under your skin and make you crawl. What, you know, skin what's crawl. Your first you know what? I don't mind telling you guys because everybody knows me. I'm. My name is Nick. Nick. Thank okay. you. Nick, we're not here to, to beat up on you or make life difficult. We just want to make sure that your intentions are to do what you're doing and you're not to be here to harass anybody. And we don't. If you want to clean this up, knock yourself out. We're not here to be dicks. We just want to know that you're not going to go into that building and. Right. You guys you guys are approaching it like exactly how I knew it would go down. You should have won one guy, one on one. Like obviously I'm not I was here two days ago. Yesterday, whoa, that sun was really beating me up and I got the eviction notice Step which really made me worry. No, I'm fine today. I'm just I was stressed yesterday. I lost my job because I was illegally detained without due process. I don't have a job, I got an eviction notice. It sounds like <laughs> you are getting due process you got a court date coming. That's when you're going to get your due process to your side of the story. Because they had me in a cage, basically. I know you guys don't think it's a cage, but try, have you guys ever been in jail before? Like, okay, it's not fun. And now, even in this day, it might have been 20, 10 years ago, who knows? But try to secret shop your boys, man. They they are going to get a, a lot of heat and a lot of attention real quick. I, I don't even know if I want to press charges. I don't think it's going to be worth my time, because what does that do? It allows for more hate to build, right? It takes away from the taxpayer. You guys have to pay insurance for those types of, of things. I want to just have everybody on the same page and quit like arresting our Nick, children, Nick, jeez. Thing, Nick, uh, it's not our intention to test your jobs. No, absolutely not. Uh, and if you want to make this look nicer, that's fine. I, I admire you for it. Uh, however, what, what you can't do is cause anybody problems in this. Sure, okay, absolutely. Yeah, did they, I get told on? Call it, you know, like, why is Terry here? Happened. For your guys' safety? He's here I'm because here we are here. Telling you, so I know what they're telling you. 
All right, me and him, we're getting along a little bit better. Well, good, good. Sergeant Terry is, is a great guy. I'm and, sure he but is. But he will do his job. Yeah, well, that's, that's what he's paid to do. So. I think it's just too aggressive in this okay, day and well, age, this time and day and age, man. That being said, uh, gotta the be only diplomatic. thing we ask is that you don't cause problems. Man, we don't even need to go there. Yeah. Like, that's the why because you guys are conditioned so much <coughs> that, that that's where your mind goes instantaneously. Uh, ours, not us. <laughs> No, then why? I, got better things to do. I got knew, I knew, I knew. Do. I could have predicted this conversation was going to happen today, and not necessarily with you gentlemen, um, but in a manner that was almost like, whoa, we got to approach this guy and make sure he's going to do, you know, when people are armed with a camera, that's like a gun to a lot of people, you yeah, know, that's like. Kind of our job, because this, this is out of the normal. Absolutely, and right. To find out when things are out of the and and, and come at it very cautiously with like, with hey, you gotta, you gotta be. Um, on your toes because he could hurt us that's not the way it should have gone down you, you, imagine a terry out here doing just wanting to do clean up he i'm sure he can move pretty quick i've seen him drag a body uh, across so the parking lot is here because it's his job oh i'm just saying but 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 what if he was here in my in my clothes sure you're all right he was here in my clothes i dude i was Man, I'm sorry that uh, we had to have this conversation, yeah, guys. You know, we, we have no intention to I, your I hope you guys really listened to what I said because, man, you guys took my life away. You really did. And it didn't start with the job, man. It started with my kids. You know, you guys, the, the, the judges, the administrators here wanted want to change a person's life and a children's lives without even the preponderance of evidence. And it's sad. And so I'm going to just keep at whatever this is and... Hopefully I'll make a difference and people start paying more attention. Well, have a good day. Don't be through the ratchet. Man, yeah, they are. Make it look better than it was before. Well, again, man, we should have had a more positive conversation, you know, rather than this this suspicious character. I was in there two and a half hours Nick, doing next research. Time I see you, I'm going to speak to you, not like like I hope you speak to me, okay? Yeah, because that's why I was approached, man. I need to be now on my toes. I had four people on one. You guys know how to have a conversation one-on-one -on -one about somebody doing yard work. What do you think these people are going to do this weekend? They're going to they're going to break you guys because you can't write citations for people not doing their weeds, right? <laughs> I know why you're pissed because it's a it's a cash cow, right? It's a cash cow. <laughs> All right, boys. We'll see you soon.